So allow me to ask you this. Are you currently looking for or are in the market for some kind of heavy duty multi-port and wireless power bank with pretty much everything thrown at it but the kitchen sink? Well, I think I just might have your cup of tea right here. This thing is the Charge ASAP Flash Pro Plus or the box anyway, but the company Charge ASAP, they tout this as the fastest and the most powerful on the planet. Then be pretty big fighting words, I'll say. So what do you say we find out together? I'm gonna do an unboxing like we're live right now. We'll test this out in a bit to see what the fuss is all about and then try to give it a quick score at the end. So let's do it after these messages that way. <laughs> All right, what we're gonna do right now is unbox this puppy right here, right now. Uh, Charge ASAP was also nice enough to send me some cables. They call them infinity cables. They're magnetic at the ends there, lightning as USB as well as USB-C. And we'll connect these all to different devices and test them out that way. So let's unbox this puppy. Um, first thing right off the bat, you notice that the packaging is really, really plain. It's probably because it's an early, probably adopter kind of thing. It's on Indiegogo still, and it's gonna be finalized at the end of the year or end of this month or something. Uh, so hopefully the packaging improves. So let's open this up. If this is too taking too long, you can always fast forward. Look at this, it looks like an uh, AirPod or something, isn't it? Yeah, look at this, it's like a giant size thing. And I read some early reviews on this and one thing that people mentioned, and it's partly because this has a 25,000 uh, milliamp hour battery cell. <laughs> that's, that's, it's a graphene power cell. And I just wanna weigh this, I have the scale right here. Oh, it just automatically turned off my scale. Let's do that later. Uh, let's get the packaging off this thing. It's really, wow, it's heavy, but it's solid. It's made of aluminum, uh, aircraft grade aluminum, they say. So yeah, it's really solid, really nice. And if you compare this with the first gen, it was all glass at the front. So now it's more durable. So if you drop it, it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna survive it. Right here is a couple of charging pads. Uh, right here is for your phone and right, right here. So technically this Flash Pro Plus is designed for Mac users or Apple users. Um, and so this is supposed to be Mac safe as well as this one's for your uh, Apple Watch. But I'm gonna test it since I don't use any Apple products really. I was planning to do it with uh, my son's Apple Watch, but he kind of broke it. Um, I'm gonna try this on with different Android devices. I have a brand new Samsung Watch 4 here, Galaxy Watch 4, and I think it might work. And I have another S, uh, S9, Samsung S9, my dad's actually, he's the only one in the house that has wireless. We're gonna test it out right here. So the scale is on, I want, I'm kinda curious how heavy this thing is. 586 grams, oh my goodness. Let's put this in ounces, 1.5, pounds <laughs> that's heavy this this thing you can throw this at somebody and kill them yes or just don't drop these on your foot and it, yeah you, you're gonna be going to the er this thing is solid i'll tell you what really nice and there is the power bank uh there's the display it's oled by the way 1.3 inches and it does all kinds of things let's power this on trying to find out how the power is on power on on the side and there you go look at that that's a cool thing. Yeah, there you go, focus. So it shows amperage, wattage, battery level, and temperature as far as I can tell for each of the uh, outlets that you're using. Let me try this out. Let me take out one of the cables. We'll fast forward through this section because it's gonna take a while. All right, we're gonna start with the USB-C version of the Infinity cables right here. And as you can see, it's magnetic and can pop right off. So in case you trip on this, it will just release itself. And let me show you the ports that I'll be plugging this in. So, so right here at the top, there's three uh, USB-C charging ports. One that does 100 watts, that's pretty darn amazing. Two that does, that does uh, 60, and then there's one USB-A right here that does 50 watts. Um, and then right at the front here, this I think is 50 or it handles a MagSafe at 50, I think. And then down here is five watts. That's pretty darn impressive all by itself. I mentioned earlier that this has a 25,000 milliamp hour graphene power cell. That's pretty solid. And when you combine it all, it's I think like 190 watts combined and you can charge all six devices all together at the same time. That's pretty darn impressive. Um, yeah, so let's plug this in, uh, plug this into one of the outlets. Let's do the 100 watt one. Let's see, I'm gonna plug it into my laptop right here and see if it does quick charge. Right there, and what does the power, immediately the power bank turns on. Let me put it on that little pedestal right there. You can see that. And I'm kind of curious whether this works with the uh, Samsung watch or not. This right here, guys, there it is, oh yes. I'm gonna put it down right now and that's the moment of truth, guys. Let's see if it does anything. I feel the magnet draw, but 
Let me see if there's any kind of power draw. Ah, oh, it doesn't. Well, at least as far as I know. The other thing I want to test, this one. This is your S9 right here. I'm going to put it right here. And it's charging. That's cool. All right, I'm not embarrassed to admit this, guys, but I did this tiny little rookie mistake a second ago with the Infinity Cable. I took the magnetically detachable side and stuck it into one of the ports. No-brainer things, or maybe I just wasn't thinking. I stuck it in, and then when I tried to remove it, guess what I was left with? The male side, it was stuck in here good. I couldn't even get it out with my fingernails. I had to whip out my little flat head to pry it out and nicked it a little bit, but you know, <laughs> I learned from that. I guess these kind of uh, cables are meant to be permanently attached to whatever device you have. Uh, you want to, you know, charge like your iPad or uh, phone or whatever it is um, and then stick it there and buy multiple heads and have it on all your devices. I guess that's what it's for. I'm kind of curious though that this, they say the neodymium magnets on these have a pull force of 400 or 500 grams. And I know for a fact that the DJI controller is 486. So we'll test this out. And one thing I really like too is, I'm not sure if you're seeing this on camera, but you know, when it's plugged in and charging, there's two LED lights on both sides of the cable that really help in visual aid, you know, just spotting it from afar. Uh, let me hang this and see in front here and see if it holds it. Yep, it's really close, 486, you might as well be 500. Yeah, it's holding it, so that's not bad. And I think uh, with this cable, it's more like 490, 492. And there you see, I have the nub right there. Let's focus on that one, you see it? There you go. Um, let me pry this out now, <laughs> Jeez Louise. Another round, this might be a little bit easier because we have soft plastic to, you know, deal with this. Oh my goodness, it's harder than I remember. All right, there you go and stick it back there. One thing I want to test to um, right now is my laptop, my HP X360 Chromebook, two in one is at 30%. I'm gonna plug it back in, plug it in here to the 100 watt PD and see how fast this thing can charge while I talk in the next few minutes. So right now it's at 20% capacity on the battery cell itself and it's at charging at around 39 uh, volts and two amps. That's pretty darn fast. And we'll see how fast this thing drains uh, into the computer. Um, a few things that I like so far about this is the build quality is really nice and solid and the fact that you can charge six different devices um, and I'll need to do more testing but according to the specs they say that all six devices can charge at maximum capacity without wavering so that's really nice and different from a lot of power banks that you have out there that's really one of the big pluses and I really like the display that it acts like a USB power meter that you can check temps and all that kind of such and power draw it's really nice and Combined guys is 190 watts in this thing. That's pretty darn impressive. I really like it. And the fact that this is 25,000 uh, milliamp hour battery cell, that's a lot of capacity. You can charge devices many, many times over. But um, with this much power guys, there's also comes great, <laughs> great weight. This thing is super heavy. I really, uh, it comes with a battery size, right? So if you want a higher capacity, you just have to deal with the weight. So I guess it's more like a neutral thing. If you are ready to get go into this kind of territory or battery cell or battery capacity, you're gonna have to deal with the weight. Um, but the other thing is the biggest one, the biggest hang up that I have is, do you see this right here? That that little discharge from my eye right there, that's, yeah, this wet discharge from my eyes, that happens every time I see the price. $319. Oh my goodness, that's like I water every time. Look at this. I'm looking at it right now. My eyes are watering. That's like just staggering price. It's it's more manageable if you go to Kickstarter or not Kickstarter, Indiegogo right now and get it for half price. But at full retail, that's a lot of money to ask for. So that's my only hang up. So right now it's at 19% draw or 19% capacity. Let me see what the battery level is at right now. 32%. So it's it's doing it doing its job. It's not bad. Um, it's doing some kind of speed charge. One thing I just want to double check is the wireless charging pad on this device because it's killing me, y'all. I have the Samsung Watch 4 again. I'm going to put it back in. No, there's there's no nothing. There's no draw. I'm going to put the Samsung phone back on again and it's rapid wireless charging. So it works for Android phones too. In case you're wondering, at least for this test, it's working. They designed this and market this for Mac users only. And they do have an Android version, but doesn't have the uh, wireless or the uh, phone charging pad for in the other version and it's slightly cheaper. Uh, but right here you can see that it charges Android phones. So if you have a mishmash of different devices at home, like a Mac phone, uh, an Apple phone, an iPhone for your work or something, you can use this to charge. If you have an Android phone, you can use this to charge. But if an Apple watch, you're out of luck. Unless you're an owner of one of these and you know that it works for something else uh, outside of Apple watches, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, that's what my finding is. 
Um, so my final thoughts, I really like this device. I like where Charge ASAP is going with this. I love the power, I love the capability, I love the screen, so much data to be had. And maybe someday if this is a commercial success, I hope Charge ASAP comes with a smaller half size model, uh, something lighter, something more manageable in that arena uh, with the same screen, same kind of ports, you know, roughly the same kind, that would be super awesome wireless as well. Um, but the downsides are the price, $319, that's a lot of, if you can hit up Indiegogo right now and go for it half price, just do it if you're really interested. But anything, in my opinion, anything above $300 for this kind of thing is just a little bit much. I'm seeing this more like a $260, $275, that's a little bit more palatable for this kind of capability. And the other thing too is the price. It's a little bit too heavy for a backpack for a carry-on, but I think for a bigger luggage, if you're going on a long trip, put this in your luggage, that's fine. Or for car camping, this is ideal as well. Or van lifing, yes, I can see this just pairing up with your Jackery generator or battery pack. If that goes out, this is your great backup. It will last you a long time and is really robust as well. So um, my final score is, or gear up score, I wanna give it an 8.3 out of 10. It's nice and solid for this kind of early impression. Uh, and yeah, I really like this and I can't wait to see maybe someday another version, a smaller version of this. Well, there you have it guys. Thank you so much for watching this. This is really a short unboxing review kind of thing and I'm testing out this new desk setup to see how it works. Let me know in the comments down below if you like it or not. Anyways, remember to subscribe. If you like this channel, like what I'm doing, please mash that subscribe button right now because I need to get to 50,000 and I need your help. Subscribe and also share. Tell your friends and family about Gear Up. That would be super awesome. And also remember to visit my Patreon page if you'd like to help me out financially. Remember to thumbs up if you like this video and comment nicely down below. And I'll see you the next time, guys. I love y'all. Remember to do something kind of loving for somebody as well. Peace out and adios.